Hey, this is Dave from Sage Titanium Bikes, and we're here at Envy headquarters in Ogden, Utah for the 2021 Envy Builder Show. And I am proud to show off my show bike for this coming year. This is our Storm King Monster Gravel Bike. Uh, it's designed around 700 by 50 millimeter tires. It's a race bike inspired gravel bike, but it can easily be worked for bike packing and multi-day adventures. The, this particular bike is actually designed for me specifically, so uh, this will actually be my personal bike after the show. The frame is made of 325 titanium. We hand build these in our shop in Portland, Oregon. Um, this particular frame is actually uh, a custom finish bonanza for all the different options that we offer, which is really kind of cool. So we start off at front, we start out with a matte black Cerakote paint, uh, if you will, which eventually down here on the down tube, for example, will actually then get into a blue anodized logo. So we have Cerakote and then anodize. It'll then trans transition into from a fade into this bead blasted finish down here. And as we go up the, the seat tube, you'll notice that our Owl and the Storm King logo and then the top tube are actually a raw finish. So we've got, again, Cerakote, Anodized, Bead Blast, and raw finish all going on within this particular frame. On top of that, we actually have Cerakoted the Envy components that are on the bike as well. So it's not just the standard matte finish that you see on an Envy component. This is actually a matte black Cerakote to match the frame. And then we use a blue raspberry for, in this particular case, over here. So all of the Envy components, the seat post, the bar, the stem, the adventure fork are all Cerakoted. We Cerakoted the titanium bolts. And then to cap things off, just to make it all match, we made custom wheel decals for the Envy G23 wheels. And the, the titanium cages uh, up here on the fork are actually Cerakoted, whereas we anodized the bottle cages on the frame itself. So really just kind of tying it all together in a, a super custom finish. For drivetrain, wanted to go with a great gravel group set, so we picked the Campagnola Eckhar drivetrain. We love the, the braking on it is fantastic. Just the beauty and the simplicity of the drivetrain itself. It's a fantastic gravel group set and really mates well with our titanium frame and for what we're doing here. Don't forget to visit us at sagetitanium.com where you can check out the Storm King. We're always available to answer questions, so please feel free to reach out to us either through the website or through social media, and we'll get back to you and, and talk with you soon. I'm uh, Cody Stevenson from Holland Cycles out of San Diego, California. Uh, Bill Holland, who uh, is our main guy with the frame building, has been building frames for 47 years now. Uh, I came in on the uh, design team about 10 years ago, and this is our HGTI. It's our uh, latest incarnation, very Southern California born, go anywhere from home. Uh, it's obviously got great clearance, great ride quality, um, and this in particular is not your, you know, your one by uh, full gravel bike. It's got a slightly shorter front center. Still nice long chain stays, but uh, this is a bike where you can leave for home, mixed surface, go anywhere. It's as good to go get a burrito and a beer as it is to spend all day out in the mountains on the trails. So with this bike, because it is a go anywhere and we are in Southern California, always want a little bit of aerodynamics, get you to the trail a lot quicker, and not to mention that they look awesome at the cafe afterwards. Shimano GRX group set, just completely durable, does everything you want it to do every time. and. Uh, the AR, SES AR bar, uh, you know, just that little combination between a aero bar and the gravel setup. So um, again, just a lot of function um, on this one and uh, a lot of options for the terrain that you're going to hit. Where are Holland Cycles? Check us out, hollandcycles.com. Folks, there are many more builder bikes coming ahead in this video. Unfortunately, there are no further builder interviews. Mainly because I came down with a bad case of food poisoning during my time in Ogden, Utah. There's no pity parties around here. I'll be running briefly through the features of each bike. And I sincerely hope you enjoy watching the remainder of this video. Firefly Bicycles of Boston, Massachusetts. Check them out at fireflybicycles.com. 
This titanium all row truly showcases what custom is all about with integrated dynamo light wiring and mounts on the NV Adventure fork. The handlebar mounted Shimano DI2 sprint shifters control the SRAM Axis wireless dropper seat post. Now that is some next level trickery. With integrated bag mounts and Z couplers, or Z couplers if you prefer, for easy packing of the bike, this machine is made for travel. Additional custom details come in the form of a titanium sweet rings crank set and a modified Shimano derailleur cage that can accommodate up to a 42 tooth cassette with a 2 by drive train. Number 22 of Johnstown, New York. Check them out at 22bicycles, that's 22bicycles.com. The Great Divide disc is the race-oriented roadie from number 22. Unique to number 22 is the fact they do all the tube manipulation such as butting and CNC machining in-house and each tube set is optimized for the intended ride profile. In addition, this particular bike features a one-off Cerakote finish with the plan to offer this option in the future. The Great Divide disc is built with Envy's integrated front end and one-piece handlebar stem along with custom titanium fenders. Naked Bicycles of Quadra Island, Canada. Check them out at nakedbicycles.com. This is the latest in Naked's experimental phase and is built around the pure joy of it. The bike is built to pay homage to the original adventure bike and to play around with what is possible. Naked took this bicycle to the extreme with a very long wheelbase, figuring out how it works for aggressive riding and bike packing. Horse Cycles of Brooklyn, New York. Check them out at horsebrand.co. 
This is the very first titanium bike to leave the horse cycle shop and it's designed for bike packing and the ability to run big tires with clearance for 27.5 by 2.6 inch tires. It's based on the all road adventure stainless steel bike shown at the Builder Roundup last year and you can check that linked in the description below. Builder Thomas Callahan opted to go with titanium to reduce weight. To achieve clearance for the rather wide Rene Hurst tyres, the frame features S-Bend seat stays and chain stays. Ritter of Santa Monica, California. Check them out at Ritter.cc. With the assistance of longtime builder and bike industry legend Tom Kellogg, Ritter brings their brand new Satir Satire Titanium Adventure Bike that's made to handle the burly forestry roads outside of Los Angeles, California. With a clearance of up to 50mm tyres, it delivers versatility for bike packing or just providing confidence through handling for any type of riding. Aether Finishing of Santa Barbara, California is responsible for the beautiful Prey for Rain paint finish you see on the frame and fork. Mosaic Cycles of Boulder, Colorado. Check them out at mosaiccycles.com. This is the Mosaic GT-145 and it's their top level gravel bike with room for 45 millimeter tires and the geometry has designed to be fast and aggressive. The frame uses an oversized butted titanium tube set and it's painted in the signature Mosaic tri-fade layout. Mosaic configured the standard build with a SRAM red ETAP group set NVG23 wheel set, an NVAR handlebar, and paint match the AR stem and seat post. If you're interested to see how this bike is built, be sure to check out my factory tour of Mosaic Cycles linked in the description below.
Moots Cycles of Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Check them out at moots.com. 2021 marks the 40th year that Moots has been building frames in Steamboat Springs, and to celebrate, each bike comes with their anniversary head badge for the 2021 year. This is a bonus bike and is the personal bike belonging to John of the marketing crew at Moots. This is the Route 45 and a bike I have reviewed, and you can see my review linked in the description below. John's bike has been extensively customized, particularly in the department of anodizing. As you can see, this bicycle does not sit around the place looking pretty. It gets used frequently, in this case, at Envy's Grodio event in Ogden, Utah. That's it for now. There are more bikes from MV's Grodio Builder Roundup for 2021 coming soon. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for videos such as this one, ride experience videos, bike reviews, product reviews, and other madness as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.